Did you know that you can actually detect mouse scrolls on Scratch or even get dark mode? Well today, I'll be showing you some awesome Scratch hacks. Alright, to detect scrolling, all you have to do is use this script and have your code here, and then let's duplicate it for scrolling down. Now I'll detect scrolling. So this script detects if the user is scrolling or using arrow keys, and this if statement filters out the arrow keys, so this makes it so only scrolling gets detected. Scratch can isn't really popping out here against this background, so let's fix that. First, duplicate the costume, and then it does new costume, hit Ctrl A to select everything, and then set the outline. Finally, copy this, go back to the original costume, paste, and then send it to the back. Scratch Cat is popping out a lot more now. Though, one small problem here is that part of Scratch Cat's ear is just cut off. But don't worry, because there's an easy solution. You can just draw a rectangle around the costume, and then make it invisible. And now, as you can see, Scratch Cat's ear is no longer cut off. Here's an easy way to add a toggle system. First, drag a if key is pressed tap lock, and then put your first piece of code here. Next, a wait block with the until not key pressed, and then duplicate that, and then remove the knot. And then put your next user code here. And finally, let's make the script reset when the green flag is clicked. Now it works really well. It can be super annoying to try drawing perfect circles or squares, because it just doesn't align properly. But an easy way to fix this is just to hold down shift, and now you have a perfect circle. This can also be done with different shapes as well. You can also use this trick to perfectly rotate objects at 45 degree intervals. You can also hold down alt, which keeps the object at its origin. Here's an easy way to make your buttons more lively. Make a variable called frame number, and then make it for the sprite only. Next, make the button go according to the sign function, which basically looks like a wave. This value controls how much it goes up and down, so I'll set that to 10, let's try it out. So let's change this value. And by the way, this value changes how quickly it goes up and down. Now it looks much, much better. Moving over to the Scratch website, sometimes it can be a bit annoying that you can't remix your own projects to keep track of all the versions, or just have the base project. But here's an easy fix to that. You can just go into File, then Save as a Copy. And now you have a copy of the product, and you can make any changes you want without affecting the original version. And for the final hack, if you want dark mode, or even more controls on how Scratch looks and feels, watch this video about Scratch add-ons. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.